Hi everyone, good morning, CJ here. So this is an update for Google Play Store installation on your Huawei MatePad Pro. I have a uh, Google Play Store working on my Huawei MatePad Pro for almost a month now. So I would want to show you how you can do it on your end. So, first thing that I'll do is to reset my Huawei MatePad Pro to its factory settings. In that way, it will remove all the applications that has been installed on the device. And it will also remove the um, Google Play Store that I've already installed on the MatePad Pro. So, let's say you have a new Huawei MatePad Pro like this one since this one has been newly reset. All you just need to do is to open up your device. Make sure that you already have your Huawei user ID. Log it in. And um, you need to agree on the terms which is provided by Huawei. Once that's done, you'll now have your home screen. But as you know, Huawei doesn't have Google application installed on it. And you cannot even install Google application on Huawei by default um, the only thing that you have is the Huawei application store right? so this one this um, app, app gallery from Huawei that's the only thing that you have and on this gallery um, there's no Google apps there are other ways where you can use the Google services on your Huawei device and I've actually done a video about it and if you haven't seen that I'll just put it on the link below but like what I've said on this video what we will do is we will install the Google Play Store on your Huawei device so first and foremost you need to download the file that I've indicated on the link below and you have to save it on an external drive so this one this is um, an external um, type C USB and I have already saved the file for the um, Google Play Store file on this one right? so you have to insert it on your MatePad Pro and then Once the USB is on the MatePad Pro, make sure that you can see the file on the USB, this one. Since this is a zip file, we need to extract it. Uh, you need to press on the file and then click on more. And then you have to uh, select extract to. You have to extract the file on the USB. So select directory, hit an OK, then choose the USB drive. So on the USB drive, just hit on the check. So it will extract all the files that you have there on the same drive. So once you view it, you, you should be able to see two folders, which is GSM and Huawei. Choose those files and then move them. Move. You have to select the destination and the destination should be the USB. Again, the USB drive. Okay. Then move, apply all, then merge. Don't forget that you need to merge. If you already have the file on the USB, just hit on replace and then enter. So after doing that, what's next is that we need to restore the Huawei MatePad Pro. So go to system and updates, then go to backup and restore. Then on backup and restore, hit on backup, click next, then agree, then choose external drive. Then after that, hit on USB because that's where the file is. Okay. So don't hit on backup click on restore and then choose the file the application and data which is on the usb then you need to enter a password the password is so simple it's already there on your screen 
um, it's A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then 0, then hit on OK. Once the restore is complete, go to your main screen and you should be able to see an application like this one with G. I don't know what that is. And then just allow it and activate. Then allow. Don't mind this page. All you just need to do is to close it out. And then you need to change the date of your Huawei MatePad Pro. So go to settings, then system and updates. On system and updates, go to date and time. And then um, set um, the time manually and then choose a month. You don't need to change the date, just choose a later month. Then hit on OK. Then close this out. And then go back to your files. On your files, um, you'll, you'll see there um, Huawei and GSM. Hit on GSM. On GSM, you'll be able to see APKs, which is Google APKs. Then you need to install all the APKs one by one. So just hit on install, allow, then done. When it's, once it's done, just hit on done, then go to the next. Allow, install, and done. And we're done. So when you go back to the screen, you'll be able to see now the applications from Google. So you have here the Google Play Store. All you just need to do is to sign in. Then once you're signed in, go back to Play Store and then you'll be able to download all the files or all the application which is available on Google Play Store. Not only that, you can um, update all the applications um, from Google with no hassle so that's how easy it is um, let me know if you tried installing google play store on your um, huawei device let me know if you did it with the instructions that i've provided and thank you guys for watching have a great day